Hello and welcome to episode 83 of my Working with Todoist series. This is actually part two of my uh, little mini series, if you like, on the Getting Things Done natural planning process. Now, if you watched my Evernote episode 31 earlier this week, you will have noticed that I was showing you how to do the natural planning method that GTD uh, demonstrates uh, using Evernote. Now, once you've, if, for those of you who are using Todoist, there, the way that Evernote and Todoist works together now is just an amazing way of actually putting all this together. Let me just explain. So defining purpose, I'll just quickly go through the definition of the natural planning process. There are actually five steps involved. The first one is to define the purpose. What is the purpose of the project? The second step is to visualize what a successfully completed project will look like. The third step is to brainstorm, and that's where Evernote comes in handy. Set, fourth part is organizing, which again is best done or can be done in Todoist, but is usually best done in Evernote. But again, as I say, if you prefer, you can do that in Todoist just as easily. And the fifth part is identifying the next actions. Now, for me, when I'm doing my natural planning on a, on a major project, is I would actually do all these five steps in Evernote. And if I take you into my Evernote, what I've done here is this is what I've actually shown. So I've got the purpose at the top. I've got the vision next. And then I have my brainstorming. Now, this is just a demo project. I don't actually need to get organized. I feel very comfortable where, where I am now. However, down at the bottom, I've got my next actions. And in this case, having done my brainstorming and having done my... Um, organizing I've deleted things added things and done the final bit two or three days have gone by I've got nothing else to add and I've identified these six tasks that I need to do these are the next actions now for me as a Todoist user I want to get these next actions into my Todoist now the way to do that um, is just highlight your list like this copy the list and then go into your Todoist. Now, when you're in Todoist, you can create your project, Getting Organized Project, and then you would click on Add Task, and then Paste. So paste those tasks that you've done. Todoist is going to ask you now, do you want to add six tasks? Click OK, and bang, all those tasks are now into your project, Getting Organized Project. And then really all you have to do is go through and just add labels. So um, so if you remember now with the recent um, <clears throat> update, you can actually add multiple labels. So uh, get getting things done by getting that's a, that's internet. Uh, clean up my desk, do a soft email bankruptcy. Well, that's just so I can add um, a label there, which would be a little what I'm going to buy. So can I put that? That's going to be done on my computer. So bang, I can add the computer. Read getting things done. Decide whether I want to use paper-based system or digital. Buy in to in trays and so on. So I can just add labels and I can add dates as and when I wish. But going back to the Evernote, this is why Evernote and Todoist these days works really well together. So you can pull out all the tasks from your brainstorming and then add them underneath your next actions heading. So as I say, in this case, all you need to do then is just copy the tasks and then paste them into Todoist. And bang, you've got a completed project. And of course, then if you wish, you can actually just go through these and just re reorganize them. So let's say uh, by two in trays, I think I want to do before I want to use the paper-based system. Uh, clean up my desk um, but then again maybe I want to move that one there so you can actually move your tasks around actually I would buy two in trays before I clean up my desk uh, and do a soft mailing but so this is actually pretty much in the order that I would want them okay so there you go that is episode 83 a little bit different this week because I've combined the power of Evernote and the combining with the power of Todoist to show you how you can do the natural 
uh, planning method of GTD. So just to run through those again, you've got defining the purpose. What is the project? Uh, why are you doing the project? What would a successfully, pro successfully completed project look like? And then brainstorming ideas. I would strongly recommend you do that in Evernote. Organizing, well, that's really entirely up to you. You can do that in Evernote, which is what I would do, or you could do that in uh, Todoist. And then identify the next actions and get them into Todoist. And then you can judge your labels and dates or whatever else you want to add. Okay, I hope you found this episode useful. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest videos as and when I post them. And for the rest of it, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.